Um, anyways, uh, how do you guys recruit? How did Tim? How did Duke, Tim, and Mills get drafted? Uh, <laughs> so the actual process of this is we uh, way back in February we just we did a collab actually with uh, with Friga, and we posted that we were pulling up to a park, and we pulled up to a park, and you know Austin was there. Tim was there, Slim was there, Zach was there. And um, from there, like, we all just met each other at one run and, and just formed a team, and it and we ended up just becoming super close. And uh, there was actually the following run, we went to Claremont, and we met Duke. Um, and since then, we just rock with this team the whole entire time. A lot of people really think, like, we went out, like, because it's the East Coast squad, like, we're the best basketball players in the whole East Coast, but that's really not what it is. We just – we met at one park one day and we all just started hooping together and making content. Yeah. We do this because we have fun doing it. We're not going out there to beat everybody, to make nobody look bad. What you guys yeah. really don't understand is when we go to y'all parks, we want y'all to shine. Like y'all footage get put up. When we get, if y'all do a move on us or somebody get dunked on, we don't hide none of that. Yeah. And it's really frustrating. Because I feel like a lot of people that don't know, or don't like are are distant from it like oh you're not gonna post you're not gonna post this highlight like no we want you guys like i guard people full court you think i don't want you guys to like do what like you know what i'm saying like i know i'm gonna get rocked in the open court if i wanted to really be stingy i could just hide behind you know what i mean I, yeah you we just put play ourselves, with... ourselves out there for you guys to get highlights on us and we we try to do this like it's yeah. not like a I, I don't think I don't think anybody has ever I don't think Tim has ever not jumped at somebody trying to dunk. Right. Like the, he jumps for every single dunk attempt, and we don't get the same respect. We don't get the same respect, honestly. People don't jump with us, but like we know, we, yeah, we know what makes the content good, and and that that's what we try to do. So, yeah, just a big a big preach while you guys are in here, like we are not on the vibe of we are the best basketball team and we're coming in there to embarrass you guys. We are on the vibe of we're coming to your community. We want you to bring out your talent and bring out the guys you want to showcase, but also respect that like we're shooting a video, we're trying to make it lit. So we're trying to play very intensely. Um, and sometimes people can't really handle the competitiveness in front of the cameras and then they resort to trying to fight. And that's why you see those moments and everything. It's not really us being the aggressor to do so. It's just, you know, we're clapping our hands, playing defense, being loud, and then they get mad because the cameras are on. Um, also, I want to, a lot of people that, – that's all good. Um, a lot of people are like, how can I join the squad? Squad. My best advice – because we're five creators that came together. So, I mean, listen, put in the work on, on your individual journey, and you start making content, and you can collab with other guys. This isn't a team based off of, like – who is the hottest in the in the social media stuff? It's not who's the best. It's like we're five guys that came together. We're all relatively normal, and we just try to make the best possible. If you guys take that approach and take accountability for like what you're doing and the work you're putting in, and succeed the same way. Don't yeah. focus. On, make sure you're focusing on your work. You know, don't ask. Don't ask for for anything. Like, go get it. Because everybody, we're, we're five relatively normal guys. You can go get it too. Like, yeah, like, like and that's and the you know, net. That's how everybody will look at it. Like, you see the oh. followers and all that now, but we started off the same way y'all did. Like, I barely had a thousand followers. Mm -hmm. Yep. I think, I think when we actually add up everybody's numbers, we are up. We're up about six hundred thousand followers collectively as a team in the last like six months which is crazy. We grow like damn near a hundred thousand followers as a team every month. Um, <clears throat> and like one thing to, to also preach off of what Austin was saying, like, and I already kind of said this, there are millions, I don't maybe, maybe not millions, maybe like a few hundred thousand better basketball players than us collectively that have more accolades lined up. They've had, they've got all this pro experience and everything. Like they, we, we are here to create content and play as hard as we can. Um, mm -hmm. so when you guys want to be a part of this and you DM us and you're like, how do I join the team? I'm a professional basketball player. That's not what we're looking for. We're, we're looking for people that are committed to, uh, be really, really, really passionate about making the content the best that it can. And if you look like 
right now with the, the way social media is, it's not about being the best basketball player. It's about making the best videos. Somebody said preach Steve Kerr Jr. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyways. Yeah. Right. It's about, it's about free. If there's any people that, okay, maybe want to start making content, um, it, you know, don't just throw something together, like really learn how video works, how editing works. Like take the time to invest, invest in your learn things anything is accessible through youtube i learned everything all myself and uh yeah man just go out and just keep going from there yeah yeah that's what you got to understand like it like a lot of people i've seen i've experienced like um you're not close to you they see you doing it and they're thinking okay yeah, i'm just gonna start a youtube channel and just views is and and subscribers is gonna appear you have working you want to be a content creator influencer that's what it starts with and then once you get that down pat you got to be entertaining yep and, and being in this business like I, I hope people don't think that we just pull up to a park and play because there's that is that is the smallest part about everything the, the commitment that we take uh, for our own brands setting up these runs traveling paying the money to do so um yeah. you know there, there's there's so much and three days, I had time to play basketball because I'm doing some some things on my side. But it's a, uh, you know, we're not pros. Maybe we could play pro, but like I said, I feel like there's you know, if you work hard enough, you can do the same. So, yep. That's pretty uh, another question. Let's see, um, who is who's the glue of the team? Hmm. <laughs> good question. Probably. Somebody. If you count, I mean, as a as a player, like, are we talking about players? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, talk about players. We brought all this together, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm the I'm the glue. Thank you, Austin. But for for the team, for the team, I actually I really don't think there is one glue because yeah. <laughs> because we are really good at picking each other up when you know somebody's having a bad game, we somebody else turns up. Um, That's yeah. facts. Yep. Uh, let's see. When are you coming to Philly? I think it's getting a little bit too cold right now, so we're going to have to hit it next year um, unless we do something indoors, but we're really just looking to keep with the street ball stuff because that's what's, that's what's important. Yeah, but next yeah. summer, we hit Philly, Detroit, Boston. Like I've seen those a lot. Obviously, New York and, and the, the obvious places, but also like Detroit, Philly, and Boston are three like, not obvious places I feel like we should hit. Yeah. Yeah. Keep the, uh, keep the questions coming. I'm looking for ones that we can kind of all just pass around and, and give our own opinion. So a hey, Sim, hey, Simbaz Draco, I'm not losing no bounce. I had bounced back from an injury and just know it's there. <laughs> Duke's been, Duke's been <laughs> buddy. yeah, he's been getting up and up every time. Just, just like, I mean, everybody, Austin's been gaining bounce. Tim's been gaining bounce. I think Slim is at the limit of bounce. He has the most bounce that you could probably humanly have. Yeah. Oh. And then Zach. Zach, wasn't he dunking the other day? Zach got two dunks in the indoor run. <laughs> I, I'm, waiting, I'm waiting on the footage, but he definitely did it. He did it in front of us on a legit rim. So I want to hear, no, it was low, any of that. He dunked it. 